Hello everyone. Welcome back to ProMind classes. Hope you all are doing well. As we are continuing with our NCERT series, we are doing class 7th NCERT chapter number 2 inside our earth. So, the topics which we will cover in the chapter are planet earth interior of the earth rocks and their type uses of rock rock cycle and minerals planet earth the earth in which human live is not absolute spherical in shape and the constant change takes place inside as well as outside the earth. Now, what is in the interior of the earth? So the earth is like onion, which is made up of several layers and the earth comprises three layers. Crust, mantle and core. So we will discuss about crust. The uppermost layer over the earth's surface is called crust. It is the thinnest of all layers and it is 35 km thick on land mass that is continental mass and only 5 km at ocean floor. It is made up of silica and aluminia and thus it is called CL. SI for silica and AL for aluminia. The oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium and is called SIMA. SI for silica and MA for magnesium. Now we will discuss about mental. So just below the crust is mental up to an extent of 2900 kilometer. So below the crust it comes the mental. Now we will discuss about core. So the inner layer that is the innermost layer is core. The radius of core is 3500 km and it is made up of nickel and iron and it is called NIFE. Ni for nickel, Fe for iron. The central core have a high pressure, that is very high pressure and temperature. The central core have. Now we will discuss about rocks. So any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the earth crust is called a rock. It can be of different color, size and texture. So there are three major types of rock. Igneous rock, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock. So we will discuss each rock in a detail. So let's start with igneous rock. When the molten magma cools, it becomes solid and are called igneous rock. They are also called primary rocks. There are two types of igneous rock. First is Intrusive rock and second, extrusive rock. When the molten magma cools down deep inside the earth crust, giving formation of solid rocks are called intrusive igneous rock. Since they cool down slowly, they form large grains. 
And what are some examples? Examples are granite, grinding stones that are used to prepare paste or powders of spices and grains are made up of granite. Now, extrusive igneous rock. When the molten lava comes on the earth's surface, it rapidly cools down and becomes solid on the crust. And these are called extrusive igneous rock. They have a very fine grain structure. And what are some examples? Basalt, that is the Deccan plateau is made up of basalt rocks, which are extrusive igneous rock. Now, we will discuss about sedimentary rocks. Rocks roll down, crack and hit each other and are broken down into small fragments which are called sediments. These sediments are then transported and deposited by winds, water, etc. These loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form layers of rock. These types of rock are called sedimentary rock. And some examples are sandstone which is also made up of grains of sand. Sedimentary rocks may also contain fossils of plants, animals and other microorganisms that once lived on the rock. Now we will discuss about metamorphic rocks. Under great heat and pressure, igneous and sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks. And what are the examples? Clay changes into slate and limestones into marble. And these are the examples of metamorphic rocks. And now we will discuss about uses of rocks. So rocks are used for construction activities such as making buildings, roads, etc. They are source of minerals which are useful for various purposes in daily life. Rock cycle The process of transformation of rock from one to another is known as rock cycle. It describes the change among the three main types of rock that is igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic rock. When the molten magma cools, it solidifies to become igneous rock. These igneous rocks are broken down into small particles by various agents such as weathering, temperature, wind, etc. are transported and deposited to form sedimentary rock. These smaller grains of rock keeps moving towards basin and lower regions and gradually forms sedimentary rocks. And the metamorphic rock which are still under great heat and pressure melt down to form molten magma. These molten magma again cools down and solidifies into igneous rock. And these metamorphic rocks which are still under great heat and pressure and melt down to form molten magma. And this molten magma again can cool down and solidified into igneous rock. So now we will discuss about minerals. So minerals are naturally occurring substance which have certain physical properties and definite chemical 
composition. They are very important for humans. For example, coal, natural gas, petroleum, they are also used in industries such as iron, aluminium, gold, uranium, etc. and also used in medicine and in fertilizers. So here we have completed with the chapter. Hope that all your concepts are clear and hope that you like this video. Do share this video, subscribe our channel. And thanks a lot for giving your precious time and lovable support. Stay tuned with ProMind.